Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in April of this year, I let you know that YouTube was celebrating its 20th anniversary with a redesigned web player which included new video controls. I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now, while the new web player user interface looked more modern and more consistent with Google Drive's video player, Google also removed a couple of features from the new design, which for obvious reasons caused a little bit of negative feedback and debate in certain circles. Now, just to let you know, and as posted by Android Police, article will be down below in the description. It seems now that YouTube has updated its web player once again to address some issues it had previously had and just basically refining the UI design further due to obviously that criticism that users gave back to Google. And I even saw a lot of that on this channel. Now, if we have a look at a couple of screen grabs by Android Police, the new web player that YouTube started testing back in April with a couple of select users gave us a new material design with pull shaped controls for the first time. Now, with this so called refining of the controls in the web player, the pull shaped design hasn't changed much, but we can now see updated action icons both in the bottom left and right of the video player and the screen. And the new action icons appear slightly bigger and have higher contrast as we can see. And taking a look at the next one, the updated web player interface has also brought back the ability to use your mouse scroll to control the volume slider which appears in the bottom right as we can see and over and above that you can also hover on the volume slider to adjust the audio as was the case in the old player so that's obviously due to user feedback and if we just move over here to the play button we can see that the play pause button is prominent here in the bottom left but the next button is missing which is currently still available in the so-called older version of the web player. And we can see that it's followed by a timestamp button right next to the play button. Now, according to the post, the timestamp button is now clickable and the progress bar now supports two different types of timestamps. The default one shows how much the video has been played, while the other option shows how much time is left until the video ends. And the good news is you can actually click the button to switch between the two, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. Now, apparently the cinema mode has also changed to theater mode. And switching to theater mode now shows a downward facing arrow at the bottom of the video player. And you can now click on it or scroll your mouse upward to reveal the more videos panel, as we can see in the screenshot provided. And I have seen a couple of comments on the channel that some viewers of this channel have already started seeing some of these updates. But as yet in my region, I'm still not seeing any of the new web player user interface tweaks and adjustments. So it looks like Google hasn't been able to make it available yet for everyone. But what do you think? Do you like this new web player with the features we've had a look at today? Let me know once again your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.